Hello guys, my name is Trollmaker, and it's time for our war game on a new map. So, in the blue, we have our native player, M.M. Paco. I think I've cast probably two of his games. He's around level set rank 70. And we have a person I've not seen a single match from. His name is Jocker, and he's ranked probably somewhere between 60 and 70. He's pretty good. And so on this new map, let's look at it pretty quickly. Um, I've only played this map once, and I can say right off the bat, Extra command, take this. Keep Charlie and Bravo, and then, after you bank up, you take Alpha, the third one. You spread along this flank. Majority of the forces here, small cluster here, and then a couple here just uh, to uh, look for any kind of like really scary play. And it's kind of a mirror. And this map generally comes down to who has the better artillery shots. And it's very fluky, just because of how uh, this map kind of plays out. So, from M.M. Paco, we have uh, Leopard 2A, uh, some VABs, Armored Commands, some Fuchs, Armored Personnel Carriers. He's got some infantry fighting vehicles, lots of infantry, lots of anti-infantry, and lots of anti-aircraft. Just kind of standard turtle play. And from our Jocker, we have new commands, the B... We have some Scots, which are pretty common. They're cheap, they're effective. I've never actually seen this Book Me unit before, so it'll be interesting to see how effective anti-air that is, if there are in fact any helicopters in this game. Now uh, we have some other weird anti-air. We have the M53 and 59 Praga. I have not seen that one once. Not ever, never seen it. And we have the Flint Plus Tio 55, or two of them, which are just very good at just punishing people for infantry rushing. Um, so we're going to see how this plays out. Look at these reflective lakes. Aren't they just beautiful? Very nice little map design. Um, and another thing is these two locations here. If someone takes these, the last one, well actually, Jocker would take Echo, and then Pac would take Delta, and that allowed them to springboard into this one, and make this one unobtainable. But both players... Uh, looks like they're both going for Bravo, or, you know, they're both going for this location here. And it looks like they're both spreading their forces pretty effectively. And there's some Scots just spreading into the woods here. And you just want to watch for any kind of cheese, and... Da -da 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 da 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 It's the cheese carrier. And it drops off... It's cargo. So I guess it's not really cheese. Um... It looks like it's just a spotter, and uh, it does have guns. The transport helicopter does have guns, so you can use that later on for guns. And, oop, missed something here. Just a small pick-off from these helicopters. I can see Spitzbus Luxe. Spitzbus Luxe. It's my Arnold Schwarzenegger impersonation. And we have, uh, looks like, yep, here comes the, the command here. And no command here. Oh, here it is, yeah. You just, you just buy it later on. And because you're waiting on purchasing that command, it generally means that the beginning of these games will be pretty slow, but as you can see, pretty nice spread from both both players. But it's almost like both units. And he's using these special force guys to watch on cheese. I, I guess they probably have high optics or something like that. i just never seen those units. And uh-oh... The artillery fire has started with one, two, three Danas and a single nine KRC book me hiding in the woods in case there are some snipers. And what location is he actually pounding? Maybe this location here. Jocker. A small lead because of a small misstep from a single unit earlier. And it looks like he's in fact pounding this location here. The Amex Tempe has found this special forces unit as everything is pounding to that location. And the Zpuzu is forced to run. Artillery fire does take its time to wind up and fire, but it is still pounding this location. He wants to get this VAB PC. There's only one location this VAB PC can actually be hiding. And uh oh. Ooh, ooh, he might lose this transport helicopter to this Tempus Fuchs. If they change that H into a K, that's a dirty, dirty carrier. And so this location is getting pounded out. Uh, not doing too much damage. Um, BMX Rollins are just kind of chilling here. And, you know, he's not even really hitting the right location. So, right now, uh, M.M. Paco is pretty good. 
got a decent lead. And we see like these Zipuses are put in decent amounts area so that he can get a good idea of vision. And um Oh I just saw a hit. He's worried. Oh god. Is is this gonna happen? He's just gonna randomly hit a command? I think it's gonna happen. There's no other way of happening. He's resupplying this VAB with troops so that it doesn't just instantly die. And that's something you don't see enough of. And we have some counter artillery. Uh, actually, these are mortars. These are M101-608As. And, yeah, there's tons of them. He's pounding this location, which is like a money field. And he's moving the command just a little bit because he's afraid of getting it hit. Pretty smart idea there, not getting hit. The Dana's pound location continue. And so this is kind of how this map goes. So it's, it's artillery, it's artillery, and uh-oh. Zepusu is coming to position. He might... Oh my god. He just sniped the command massively. That's a $300 command. That's a lot of bones. And the Zepus has paid off itself. It will get cleaned up here, but its mission has been accomplished. And, uh... Yep, yeah, MM Paco is kind of in the shitter right now. There's not much that you can do. The shots of Hamas moving up for MM Paco to this location, this forward location. Gonna shine off this Recon helicopter, the BTR-70 Zalo tank destroyer prototype. Also moving in position. Not a particularly useful unit against infantry, though. But it will get uh, the carrier, so that's good. And now it's just rain of infantry versus rain of infantry. You can kind of see the small bombs we got coming in here. T-8. What? I've never seen it. It's interesting. Uh, it's uh, a supply truck with guns on it. That would explain why he has no FOB. So with this, he can actually hold on to these supply trucks and just stick them all over the place, and they actually fire, which is good. And, you know, on the other hand, M.M. Paco has an FOB, but all the supply trucks he's using are the standard MD Jupiters, which have no real armor or guns. So another interesting stylistic difference. Uh, M.M. Paco might get lucky. Maybe. Hard to say. This is the Juice field right here, but, of course, there's not really any scouting going on by either side. They don't know much. He knows there's... He's got, like, a single Fuchs. So he's going to pat on the back. And, uh, so yeah, both sides pretty much don't know much. He's lost another Fuchs. That puts him a little more behind. 300-point uh, deficit from M. M. Paco. Nice spread units. And we have, oh, a very sneaky Fuchs. But it's already covered. There are armored personnel carriers in the woods just chilling here, waiting for a sneaky Fuchs. He's a Fuchser. That's dirty. I'm surprised the single shot search from Moss has not been found by this Flampsteel Dive unit that's just sitting here. And we'll speed this a little bit. Um, this is kind of how my match went on this as well. Just kind of a uh, artillery off, you know. Either side getting lucky, one side getting more luckier than the other. See, this location is getting shelled. Uh, pretty smart choice. Gets a couple of good hits because you can see the score increase by M.M. Paco here. And uh, the Danas are all resupplied and doing their own bit of damage in this location, which only has the more. Ah, I see. He's trying to counter artillery, which is kind of an odd tactic. The idea is like, instead of hitting the nice juicy units, you're going to hit the units that hit units. Which is kind of like Counter-Strike when you shoot a guy in the back who's shooting somebody else in the back. It's a pretty good metaphor there, Troublemaker. So we have a little bit of a stalemate. Just artillery fire coming off. And we have lots of armor personnel carriers. This is um, not really what I was expecting. I was expecting more artillery. And uh, yeah, like this. Like these eight AMX Ophies which are pounding various locations. Uh, this is a very arty head map, and we'll see right here, like, ooh, all misses, but everything's so clumped up right now. It's probably because these rivers, they don't, there's not a lot of forested areas, and there's lots of cutting areas. Cutting areas are these river pieces. They cut the map up, so you can't put units here, here, or there. So you're kind of limited, and you can't use every single piece of forest. You have to use specific ones, so you end up clumping quite a bit. So we have lots of tanks coming in, T-80s and T-80U and T-808V and BMP-685. We're learning the alphabet and the 1-2-3s. All right, um, that was a tank. And Jocker just pulled massively ahead. 
Nice 600 point lead here. And we have another Shaw Search from Moss coming in. The Flame PZ will clean up the Shaw Search from Moss. And that was kind of waste. But we have Artillery pounding his location. Trying to get some work done here. He's already thrown out too much. And he's getting a decent amount of damage here. Like, things are getting destroyed pretty haphazardly. So we have more... Oh, these are the cheaper supply trucks. URLs. I guess he was sick of having uh, all these... These uh, supply trucks in positions. And, yeah, doing quite a bit of damage here. But Evan Paco is in a bit of a trouble. I mean, he's only 400 points away from a loss. That's it. 400 points and he loses. So... Um, it's favored pretty heavily right now for Jocker. And the, all he has to do is really artillery fire key locations. This is not one, by the way. If your your name is Jocker, you should be going for forward positions like this. Because that's where the bulk of forces will be. Forward positions. They will not be in one, rank one positions. There's no reason to defend this. Well, there's not too much of a reason. Minimal defense. A Furnishire, a Fuchs, and maybe an anti-aircraft gun. And there's a Leopard here, I think. Yeah. But not too much. You want to get maximum points. As you see, this is what m is doing. Maximum points is hitting big juicy... What the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. m m Paco, you sneaky devil. da 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 We have a late game tech switch. We have m m Paco going... How many Cobras got? Two, four, six, eight, ten, and four Apaches. So that's about 1,500 points worth of units. This is an all-in, people. Basically, he has to either win with this, or he's going to lose to this. If he loses five helicopters, he loses. So this is like the, the game ender right here. Win or lose. Uh, Jocker has what for AA? Um, oh, his only AA is located in the middle here. This book me. A few AA here. There's nothing. There's no AA here. He has some transport helicopters. That's it. There's no AA in this location. Paco is going to clean this up. He might also run out of ammo. These things are, you know, pretty animal sensitive. He's got some recon helicopters in here as well. Picking up that Zapuskus. And here we go. A massive flock, a murder of cobras coming in to pick off what he can here's some Scott to pick off and some infantry and there's just not enough anti-air he's not going to be able to actually destroy any of these the bookme is winding up he's going to try and do some damage and ooh there's enough rockets in these cobras to pick off the bookme this is a lot of trouble where's the tanks at? tanks are over here, the juicy targets are right here it's going right in the middle Picking out the flame plus picking out the rifle squad with just pure machine gun. Here it is, the big BRDMTU. Jocker only has to kill four of these. He kills just four and he wins. He might get the oh my god, he's getting all the artillery. Art those are expensive artillery. Dana's are very expensive. And he's getting all, oh my god, the tanks are all here. This is so close. Four hundred points. And Baco only has to get four more kills on tanks. Oh, recon helicopters are very expensive. They're 100 points each. There is a command here. Oh, my God. He's doing it. M and Paco has come back from a pretty massive lead, and he won. A late game tech switch. M and Paco banked about 1,500 points and spent them all on helicopters. That's pretty impressive. And so that's the game of M and Paco versus Jocker. If you want to see more videos, definitely thumbs up this one. If you want... If you, uh... Like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Uh, my name is Troublemaker, and I'll have another game for you next week. Thank you guys for watching.